LEGO provides more than one series of motors and sensors. So for example, here we have what's called the power functions motor. And here we have a Mindstorms EV3 motor. Now, the Mindstorms EV3 series of sensors is controlled either by the Mindstorms brick, or you can control it with a Raspberry Pi using what's called a brick Pi shield that gives you a, an adapter to connect Mindstorm sensors and motors to the brick Pi. However, let's say that you wanted to control a power functions motor or any power functions sensor or output for that matter with the Lego Mindstorms EV3 brick. However, as you can see, the cables are quite different. So in this video, we're going to figure out how do I connect either an EV3 brick or a Raspberry Pi to a power functions motor or a power functions light. So to start, we're going to connect an EV3 motor to our EV3 brick and just get that motor up and running. Now I have installed EV3 dev onto this brick and I'm using Python to control the motor. So if we just watch the motor here, I have a simple script which will just turn the motor on in one direction in the other and then alternate the speed for a while. Now I want to at the end of this video basically run the same script on a power functions motor. To do this I am going to take a power functions extension and an EV3 extension and connect the two of these. Now I will have to cut these cables both in half. So the, the good news is you can take one power functions extension and one EV3 extension and end up with two working converters. Now also be aware that if you make any mistakes, there is potential of, of course, wrecking your cables and also wrecking your EV3 brick. The bare minimum we need here is our cable, our EV3 cable, we need two resistors, and that'll be enough to get it up and running.
so there we have our six cables from the EV3 and our four cables from the power functions. In order, we want to connect the white cable to the second power functions, the black cable to the third power functions, then the red, green, yellow, and blue are going to create a little circuit with a couple of resistors, and these last outside cables on the power functions do not need to be connected to anything. Right, now we just need to connect our two cables together. So we start by connecting our two resistors. We connect the yellow cable from the EV3 cable to the middle of our two resistors. We connect the green cable to our 1K resistor, which is the resistor here on our left. Then we take both the red and blue and connect it to our 10K resistor. Then we take our black wire and our white wire and connect it to the middle two from our power functions. Now I don't actually think it matters which order. You will just get the engine going, the motor going in the opposite direction. Now that is enough to test it out. So we just want to make sure nothing is touching that shouldn't be touching. And it's not pretty, but it's enough to work. So we take our EV3 brick. And connect our cable. We take our power functions cable and we'll start by connecting a motor. And now let's just run that same script that will alternate the motor left and right, and then try some varying speed. So 
So one of our cables has come undone here. So I'll just retwist that. And it's not staying. Right, and then try that again. All right, and that now worked. Now the nice thing about once you have this done is you can connect any power functions, so something like lights and more than one power function and have them run all at the same time. And now we have a lot more control over the lights as well. our motor and our lights and give this one more try now that we're all sealed up
and everything seems to be working. Now that we can connect a power function's light to an EV3 brick, we can now have lighting effects like this, where we can code in a slight flicker. As well, this light is being turned on and off using a PS4 controller.